So today's video is going to be a little intense because I have a feeling I'm going to be tossing a lot of makeup and this is long overdue. I really don't buy a lot of makeup so I feel like I've been holding on to products that should just be in the trash. So yeah, we're gonna do this together. I hope this just gives you a little kick in the tush to uh, go through your stuff and just be real with how old things are and how much bacteria there is. Um, yeah, our eyes are precious and so are our lips. Uh, I'm just ready to have less stuff and be less overwhelmed with the amount of things that are like taking over and I have nowhere to put things. So this is the top of my vanity and as you can see I have this three drawer divider and then this I got from Aldi this year. It has one drawer I don't usually use because it's just a bit awkward. And then I have my brushes and that's where I keep my palettes. This is where you guys were just sitting and this is my throwaway bin or maybe I don't need right now. I take this to work with me. It's my nine and three quarters bag and then this is where my makeup lives in this one drawer so it's not a lot but it's still plenty and i know that this could be like half empty so let's get started i'm going to set you guys up on the floor first we have the three drawer unit so i'm going to start with this one and we have blush so first off i still use these three by mac and they're from last year, I believe, as well as this NARS one. This Rare Beauty one, orange, no longer my color. This one is so old. I use this so much, this Fade Zero. Orange, no more. This also is orange by Anastasia. And then this one is like a bronzer, but it's just old and too shimmery, so. There we go, half of them gone. Now we have some more powders. This Fenty one is old and it's, you know, pretty well loved, but I just don't reach for it anymore because it's very warm. And then this Cherub one I got last year from M Cosmetics, gonna keep that. Blotting papers, this pinch of flour. I think it's a couple years old, there's hardly anything in it. So I'm just gonna toss that. And then this Laura Mercier powder is pretty full. It's from this year or last year. It came in like a bag or something. And then this highlighter. It's Opal by Becca, but it's pretty ancient and I honestly don't really use highlighter. And if I really want one, I'll just, you know, use an eyeshadow or go get one. I just realized it makes these pals up. So yeah, here we go. Three and three. You may be thinking lips is going to be um, difficult, but it's actually not because there's a lot of colors that um, just are not for me. We have one orange, Rare Beauty. This JK Rowling lipstick I keep because of the packaging, purely for the packaging by Charlotte Tilbury. I, I keep calling it JK Rowling, but it's the JK Magic shade. And I just love these. These two are my like collector keep forever ones. This is my wedding lipstick, which I still use. I should stop using this because it's four years old. I should probably just not have them in here. This red one by e.l.f. It's just a warm red, so no. I just got this. This red is, is old. It's the M Cosmetics one. I thought I would use it, but I'm not. Um, clear gloss, that's old. These two sugar ones are almost empty like this one yeah <laughs> it's gone i really did love these why are they still in here oh yeah i was saving it to do a video this is also another collector's it's the ingrid nilsson in the city i just think it's so cute and it'll remind me of my 20s so i just keep that this little gwen stefani one i don't know i think I have to see if it's even my color. It's raining outside, guys. It's so beautiful. We have some Charlotte Tilbury action. Um, I'm just gonna keep these because I do wear these for special occasions. Um, MAC pencil. I haven't used this in a long time. It's probably just dry, so I'm just gonna toss that. 
Um, I'm almost done with these. I have two of these that I am almost done with, so I'm just gonna keep that in my bag so I finish it, as well as the Tower 28. It is almost empty. I have two MAC lipsticks. One of them is orange, one of them is like brown taupe. Um, I got this one last year, and I think this one is still good. And then we have some lip liners, which I do not really use. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I have two of them. I'm just going to keep them. But these KKW ones, I really just collected these obsessively for a moment. I really wanted all the colors, but I don't use them like ever. I really don't line my lips. I'm not that like person anymore. <laughs> And then I have two Milani ones. I'm just gonna toss these because I just know that if I wanna wear a dark color, it's gonna be a gloss or a stain and not a pencil. I just grabbed the other one. As you can see, I'm like really almost done with this one. I also have a pink one of this gloss that is also almost gone. And I bring those to work with me. So I'm kind of like, where are they? I cannot find them because the room I'm in is actually a mess. So we're just getting into it with that. I'm gonna get rid of all these. Let's move on to this tower. So up here, I have a Tatcha, you know, skin mist. That's gonna go. I don't ever use it. I have a lotion, which is nice. This I don't use ever. I just, I don't know. I don't ever use it. Um, tissues, I'm gonna put that in my car. <laughs> the sunscreen, I'm a bit too dark for right now, but I do like to mix it with this sometimes, but I'm just not sure about it for the summer. I feel like it's, I can feel it a bit more if it's humid out. I'll have to see, but I was using it like a bit in the spring. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I'm not sure if this breaks me out. I have a hunch, but I, I am truly not sure. It says six months, so I have a couple more months with it and then I'm gonna see. The Tatcha Skin Mist, um, I'm just gonna put this in my bathroom because I wanna use it up. This e.l.f. I cannot use right now on my face. I also don't like it all over my face. I'm going to put this in my bathroom and mix it with lotion if I want to because it is just not for my face. And I have two color correctors in case I have to mix, you know, foundation shades and make them a bit different. So I'm gonna keep those. I just got those this year. I have a perfume. Um, this is brush cleaner. I have the glow screen, which I do use. This Ilia um, blue light mist. I just, I hardly use it, but I just got this year, so. Um, and then I have some micellar water. Obviously going to keep that. Oh, and I have some pimple patches. All right, so these two are going upstairs in the bathroom and then these two are going. I guess that was not very productive, but it's fine. So here are all of the palettes that I own. And I will say, I already know which ones I use. So this one I already know I'm tossing because it's big. Plus I got this for half off, like 35 bucks. And there are just a lot of dark colors that I don't really use. This Huda Beauty one I still use and I feel like it's not that old, even though it says 12 months on it. Um, I'm just gonna keep that as well as the sugar pill. This one is ancient. Once I discovered that I was a deep winter, I was like, wow, these colors would actually work for me, but you know, it's ancient. Um, I just, there aren't any lighter colors in here, so I never go for it. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. This is a skin palette that I just recently got. And this Makeup by Mario one truly should go. I've given it a couple years and my intention for this was to have every color I could possibly need. But to be completely honest, I only use like these shades and then these shades. I don't touch any of these warm shades because I just use my bronzer. This one's less than a year old, so I'm keeping that. This one is also... I'll probably use it in the autumn. And this Khaki Haze palette, I still love so much. The formula might be um, compromised, I'm not really sure. This palette, I'm extremely attached to, and I don't know if I can get it back or get it again. And I love it for this color. 
but these have hit like hard pan and I don't really use any of these colors. So I'm gonna have to see, oh, or just try to live without it, truly. These are from 2020. Actually, no, this one is a Frankenstein one. And I think that I'm just ready to let it go. This was from that Bad Habit palette. And when I put it in this packaging, I kind of just forgot that they existed. It was nice, but I'm just gonna let these go. Sorry if the color is a bit off right now. I just realized it looks so pink, so I just changed things a bit. But we have these M Cosmetics palettes. I got these last year, and this one, unfortunately, is like not perfect for me. It's, oh gosh, <laughs> just stabbed the eyeshadow. It's a bit warm, but I still use it. It's still a great palette for like, especially going to work or traveling. And then this one I do regret buying because it's just very dark, but I think in the autumn it will be my time to experiment. And if um, I don't use it, then I think I'll just, I don't know, give it away, do, do something with it. So I think this is good. I'm going to keep these and then get rid of these. Oh my gosh. Here I am with the drawer. I think I'm going to divide everything up. I'm just gonna put all of this in here. Now I know why people are always like, grab a drink because people doing these videos need a drink. There's so much talking involved, a lot of emotional stress. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's pretty exciting. Okay, we have samples. Clearly garbage. I need the trash closer to me. Spoolies, garbage. This does not belong in here. This lash glue oh this goes in the lash lift kit which i don't even know if i'm doing anymore this is for my lip hair because i can't wax it this putty blush it's a bit weird i'm just gonna toss that my mini powder i do use that brow powder i use powder i'm almost done with brow pencil this needs to go in like um the backup bin it's unopened and then I have these two complexion products um, the serum foundation and then the purito I think this was too dark for me last time I used it I do want to have some you know complexion products so I'm gonna keep those I never use this brush anymore it's just I don't know I think I just need to wash it or something. Again, milk. And then this is the Laura Mercier Glow, which this is actually what I use for a highlighter. It's just very light. As you can see, I have two small ones and that one has one because I want it to differentiate in my makeup bag. So yeah, and this goes in the kitchen. So that's great. Some complexion. I'm gonna make this the backup bin. Now we have these. This is actually, um, hair gel that I put in this MAC paint pot um, empty container because I wanted to do like the spiky brows for a bit, but I don't use it. So I'm going to toss that. I use my M bronzer. I still use this Glossier tube. I'm going to be very excited when this runs out. Here's that little brush that I need to wash. Um, I need to wash this. This, I am slowly working my way through. This vanilla quartz. I don't know when I got this, but I feel like I don't use it because it's just, it's in here. It's not with my cheek products. So I'm gonna put this with my cheek products. I have this little freck thing. Backup bin, where's the backup bin? <laughs> this Tatcha Silk Canvas, if only I used it. Here's my eyeshadow that I'm trying to use up and curlers. We use those. Okay. So here we have, oh my gosh, a makeup brush that doesn't belong here. I'm going to toss you. I'm going to divide these two into eyes and face for now because everything's all mixed up. So right over here is face and this is all eyes. Now my eyeballs cannot use all of this. Out of all these three, the gold has to go because I can't unsee that it is not for me. These are all the eye pencils that I have and eye pencils actually expire like 
a lot faster than we think. This M1 is so old, shamefully old. This NYX one has no packaging, no writing on it. This purple one is still okay, I think. This is a like liquid liner that's sticky. And green, I thought I would use green, but I don't. And keep these two. Mascaras, these are all freshly opened. This white liquid, this white liquid one is quite new. And then I have these two little like eye sticks that go like underneath. This one I used to love, but I just don't reach for it anymore. This is a gold that I use like on the inner corner. It's pretty. And oh, I have two of these. So the brown one is newer and then the purple one is older. So I'll keep this one. Brow product. I use these, just got these. I'm gonna toss this pencil because this actually replaces it. And then this one is, is this even still, oh. This is dried out and chunky. So I don't, I don't really use this one a lot. Liquid blush, I forgot about this, but I was using her, this little rare beauty one, little sample. And then I don't use this. Primer, still good. And a little eyeshadow, so all of this is going. This is the only thing that I'm going to be getting rid of, and it is the most expensive thing, unfortunately. Um, it just is shimmery, and it's so bizarre. <laughs> it doesn't look good on my under eye, and that's what I bought it for. I wish I had returned it when I got it, but the standalone's for so far, so I was just like, ugh, just try it out. But yeah, everything else in here is is pretty good. Is this still good? Hold on. I've just examined this and the color's off, so I'm gonna get rid of that and just keep this little Hydra one. Look at all of this that I do not use or need or is trash. Um, this was years in the making, so yeah, please don't feel weird about, you know, the waste. It's um, a big part of my past that I'm trying to just let go of and um, not beat myself up about my tastes have changed my habits have changed and it's completely normal so yeah i'm excited to put all my stuff back together and just you know love and cherish this what are you still doing in here she's trying to follow me <laughs> anyway back to what i was saying i'm just excited to have my stuff freshly laid out and know that i use everything for the most part